keche ugwa wede ojo agba do you have a friend a sibling a child or even a parent who keeps you on your toes whenever you are out in public that when you are out with them in public you just keep praying for them not to open their mouth because you know that as soon as they open their mouth to say anything they get themselves in trouble some other times they even get themselves and others who are with them in trouble and so when you are with them you just keep praying god please just let them keep their mouth shut please let them not say anything until we get out of this place because they have a history of getting themselves and others in trouble well i have many of such in my life sometimes friends couples that i visit sometimes we go out together maybe to a restaurant to eat and most of the time is the woman who is always on her toes because of what the husband will say and then sometimes you see the woman giving the husband the eye the look Please don't say that don't say that father is here don't say that visitors are here sometimes they may sit next to their husband giving them the elbow or pinching them or they have their leg under the table kicking them don't say it because the more you speak the more you expose the family the more you disgrace us in today's gospel passage a young man came to Jesus to ask what do I need to do in order to inherit eternal life and Jesus named the commandments and after listing the commandments the man said is that all I've been keeping them ever since I was young is there any other thing and Jesus said well one more thing go sell all that you have Give the money to the poor, and then you'll be good to go. And the man became sad. Let's go over the story again. Today's gospel passage does not tell us whether the man was young or old. But the passage says the man ran up to Jesus. And so I'm giving myself the permission to believe that he was a young man since he ran up to Jesus. The Gospel passage does not tell us anything about his marital status. But I'm giving myself the permission to give the man a wife. So, he's married. And not only that, that he came with his wife to meet Jesus. And his wife knows him to be such a man who would always get himself in trouble with what he says. And so when they arrived, the, man, the woman's heart was panting. Please, let him keep his mouth shut. Let him not say too much so that he doesn't get himself in trouble. And then the man asked Jesus, What do I need to do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus listed the commandments. And the man, the woman with her leg under the table was kicking the man. Stop at this. You have heard it. Just let's leave it at this point. But the man, he know it all. And Mr. Know It All had to prove something. And so he went on to ask Jesus. So, what else? I've kept the commandments ever since I was young. He was flexing his muscles. And then Jesus said, One more thing. Go, sell all that you have, give the money to the poor. Then you'll be good to go. And the man became sad. I imagine his wife at that point saying, Serves you right. That serves you right. I hope you learn your lesson from this. I was telling you, stop at that point. But no, you must always prove something. You always have something to prove. You want to prove yourself. Now you've gotten yourself in trouble. And you've gotten the entire family in trouble. Now we have to choose between eternal life and our property. If only you kept your mouth shut after Jesus listed the commandments. Or if only you told him, I've been trying my best with the commandments. Could you please pray for me? Could you please give me the grace to keep the commandments, to do well with them, and just leave it at that? But no, 
you must say something. Serves you right. Now you are in trouble. And now we are in trouble. My dearly beloved in Christ, many of us as human beings can easily fall into this man's mistake. That we think that we can prove something to God. We think that we are standing today only by our power. When we see other people who are falling, we laugh at them because we think it's all by our strength that we are keeping the commandments, that we think we are not getting into trouble. But it's not a good way to go. Remember, there is nothing good that we do that originates from us. There is nothing good that we have that originates from us. The only thing we can boast of the only thing that we have that did not first come from God are the sins that we commit. And so, if there is anything good about us, we must channel the glory to God. As we continue to journey through the rest of our lives, my dearly beloved in Christ, let us always have this at the back of our mind. It is not your responsibility to prove yourself. Your responsibility is to improve yourself, relying on the grace of God. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.